Boy here at my studio in Nashville, Tennessee. We are talking about the always amazing 4816. If you are curious about the 4816 or wondering how it works in home studio life, this is what this vlog series is all about, so I appreciate you tuning in. So I've had the privilege of having this amazing console in my studio for about a year now, and uh, it never ceases to amaze me. And um, I think, you know, one thing that we're always working on in studio life as gearheads and musicians is we are trying to make the most creative space that we can for people. And we want them to come down and be inviting and be able to make the music that they want to make. And um, one thing that I've noticed since having the 4816 in my studio is that I have people coming in and saying, Lizzie, this feels like a real studio. And so all the time they're saying, let's write at your place, let's come over. Like, we love what you're about, we love what you're doing, we love the space. And uh, you know, I'd like to say it's because of the candles, but I really think that it's because of the 4816. So I've discovered a couple new features on it that I'm absolutely in love with, and it's really helped with my workflow and my productivity, and I can't wait to share them with you guys. So let's talk about two of my new favorite things on the 4816, and it has to do all with the monitoring section. So let's just say that um, you're listening to a track, you wanna reference it on different speakers. It is so easy on the 4816 to do that. So I have three speakers set up. You can have the ability to hook up four. And so right now I've got it going through my focals. This is just the session that I'm working on for reference today. And so I've got this going dim switch, which is just like the most magical thing ever. So um, right now I have it going through my focals. And let's just say, hey, I wanna know what sounds like my aura tones. I could do that so easy, just click a button. If I've got some friends or people hanging out in the other side of the studio on the sofa, I have some speakers that are hanging from the ceiling and I can easily switch to that. Just by the push of a button. And I can adjust the volume super well. If I'm listening to a mix and I wanna hear it in mono, there's mono, cut left and cut right. That's simple. And I think that's really cool and I think that's really accessible and I think it's great uh, to make sure that your mix is sounding good on all speakers. Um, so then I have a lot of artists come in and they say, hey Lizzie, oh my gosh, I love this song that's playing on the radio right now. You've got to check it out. And I want the track today to sound like that. And I'm like, okay, great. So. Um, what's super easy is I can just pull up iTunes or whatever you like to listen to music on, Spotify, and then I can just go in here, I can click on that track, and then I can easily be like, okay, this is what our track is sounding like, great, da 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 da, -da. and I can say, oh, well, this is the song that they want me to reference. And so I have it set up right now that I can easily switch between two different mixes, and I think that that's just so great. So then I have a lot of artists come in and they say, hey Lizzie, check out this song that I've got on my iPhone right now. So they'll pull up their voice memo and I have an aux cable that's set up and that's what this iPod button for is right here. It's awesome and um, I can just listen to what they're doing. I can then switch between both modes. So um, the next thing that's really cool and it's been super helpful and I absolutely love it is this last one on the end, my print button. So if you've got any sort of outboard master bus compressor that you like to use or any sort of outboard gear that you like to run stuff through, this is awesome. I have it set up so that um, if I'm using some sort of in-the-box mastering, which I do a lot, or I'm using my outboard mastering, which I do a lot, um, I can A, B those levels. I can see which one I'm liking better for the song. Um, and I can kind of really dial it in that way. I can also just use my raw Pro Tools file and I can go back and forth to really make sure that I'm using the mastering to its best efficiency and uh, its best quality. So I think that that's really cool. What's also awesome is you don't have to do any of these uh, this way. You can do it however it works for your workflow. This works great for mine and um, I think that that's awesome that it's super accessible. You can change it up. You could do it any which way you want. And uh, that's the monitoring section on the 4816. I hope that you tune in for our next vlog. Thank you so much. Be sure to go on to Audience website and check out the other amazing products that they have. And uh, happy music making from Music City. I'll see you next time.